What if I told you that back in the 1970s, Britain built a train so advanced it could tilt into corners, smash speed records, and was powered by gas turbines? Meet the APTE, the train that was decades ahead of its time, but never got to carry a single paying passenger. The E in APTE stands for experimental, and trust me, this thing was like something out of a sci-fi movie. British Rail wanted to build the future of high-speed travel, and they did it with two power cars, two trailer cars, and a whole lot of cutting-edge tech. It ran on gas turbines. Yes, like a jet engine. Each power car had four Leyland gas turbines pushing out 300 horsepower each. Later upgraded to 330 horsepower. But here's where it gets wild. The APTE wasn't just fast, it was smart. It had articulated bogies and could tilt into curves, making it smoother and faster through tight bends. But not everyone was thrilled about it. On its very first run, July 25th, 1972, the APTE rolled out from Derby and was immediately pulled from service. Why? The driver's union. ASLEF wasn't happy about the single driver seat, fearing it would lead to job cuts. That protest meant the train sat idle for over a year before it could hit the main line again. Fast forward to August 10th, 1975. This beast was back. And what did it do? It hit a new British railway speed record. 152.3 miles per hour, 245.1 kilometres per hour, on the Great Western Main Line. It also tore up the tracks on the Midland Main Line and the old Dalby Test Track, hitting 143.6 miles per hour, 231.1 kilometres per hour, in 1976. But despite all its potential, the APTE was never meant for public service. After a few years of testing, it was retired in June 1976 and sent to the National Railway Museum in York where you can still see it today at the NRM Locomotion Museum in Shildon. So what happened next? British Rail went back to the drawing board and developed the APT Class 370, this time running on 25 kV AC electrification instead of gas turbines. But wait, there's more! Ever heard of the APTPOP? No, not a new music genre, but the Power Zero Power Test Train. This was a stripped-down three-car set used to test the suspension, tilting and braking systems. Sadly, after the APT project was scrapped, all three of these cars were dismantled in 1985. A sad end for what could have been a revolutionary leap in train travel. So, was the APTE an engineering marvel ahead of its time? Or was it a failed experiment? Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss more insane stories from railway history.